When it comes to flashlight, I find the best light to use is a one inch light. Just slide it into place. Get them snug, but don't tighten because there's one thing I need to turn around and show you. Okay, once you get it in place right here, with this type light, this here holder was designed for a one inch diameter light, uh, such as this, and just get it snug, snug enough to where it's not going to slide out of place. Okay, if it's a bottom mount, you really don't have to worry about which side this is on. But like I said, if you're going to use it for a side mount, which I think I got it too tight for a side mount. Let me see if I can slide out. But if it's bottom mount, you just tighten it up and it's going to be right there for you. If it's a side mount, let's slide these out to show you. You want to put it in. And I think I got it too small for a side mount. But your side mount will be right there and your straps will just come around this way and hold it in place for a side mount. Be that other first strap is a little bit too too small right now but your side mount will fit in there like that with the flashlight along with the tie that comes around on the back side to hold it once everything is in place you can then cut your ties and make it neat and there you have it And that's the mount for the X1. Now, one other thing I would like to go over real quick is, like I said, when each unit ship, it will come with two screws on the top as well. Uh, two number 10 inch, one and a half inch. And what they're for is to hold your accessories into place. This here is the mount for the four port hub and this here is the mount for your uh, and this here is the mount for the tablet which the tablet goes there and the hub will go there. Uh, as a matter of fact As such, you have your, your tablet, your four port hub, and your mount. Like I said, this one here is a limited edition with the platform, a single hole platform. And I don't have the um, flashlight adapter in there, the flashlight. This here is our standard base, which holds it up pretty good in most places you put it. We're going to show different attachments and settings and way to uh, mount it in certain places. You can also customize this to use it on a tripod. You can customize it to connect the GoPro camera on it. I have some that's customized already with the braces for a GoPro camera. If you don't feel stable enough, if the base don't feel stable enough, if we're standing, and like I say, they're easy customized like I said, they're easy to customize, to make um, add-ons, to experiment, do whatever you want with it. If the base, the standard base is not enough support for you, then we can whiten out the base to give it more uh, support, to keep it more sturdier. But like I said, the use we had out of it so far is, is pretty good. I can sit it on tables, I can sit it about wherever I want. I can sit on a tripod. It holds up pretty good on a tripod. This finished weight will vary depending on what you use. The 
X1 sensor bar is way more heavier than the um, 360 sensor bar. So that's going to make a difference in the weight. But like I said, they still hold up pretty good. Once I compare the two, I will do another video on complete assembly. And this will have a base so you can see it stand up as well. That's basically it, folks. I hope this has been helpful. Like I said, if uh, you're interested in one of these two, or if you're interested in anything you've seen, then my suggestion is to uh, then my suggestion to you is to order the one you see because that's the only one of a kind that it, that is. So but once again, I do want to point out that if you're using this type brace, because all we ship is the block, the screws, what you see here, that we will have some special models, like I say, from time to time that we come up with something we want to try it, that we will be listing the block X, either be it the short block or the block X, the regular block. The one with the 360 mount is the Block X 360. The one with the X1 is the Block X X1. And of course, all our models without the platform are just Block X strap. And we call them Block X strap is because the tie strap, uh, they're what hold the stuff in place also with this with the um one with the platform that is one thing i like about it is like i said it's a custom it's the custom platform for the 360 and if you order one with the custom platform for the 360 you notice it's this original so it just snaps right into place but my thing still is although it's there and it's pretty sturdy it feels just as tight without the straps i would suggest you still strap it in by running the strap along the edge i would still suggest you strap it down so that you have more support but like i say without it it holds it pretty good um, the platforms work but that drives the cost up so, um, we're just going to go with the blocks strapped. Once again, thank you for watching. Hopefully this video has been helpful. And if you have any questions, comments, likes, dislikes, leave them. We're happy to hear from everyone. And as well, if you, if you dislike it, let us know what you dislike about it so that we um, can try to make an improvement that it works out much better. Uh, and last but not least, I want to go over a mount for a laptop. I'm working on a design now for a laptop because I have one, but I wanted to use a two-in-one instead for my three. But I wanted to use a two-in-one instead for the X1 hookup. So I'm working on a platform which will I believe we're going to mount the platform or have a way to mount it probably where it slides on as such and then your tablet will just sit right on the platform as such with a water base of course to keep it from being top heavy and with a water base of course to keep it from being top heavy and that will be how your tablet will sit and look on it. Um, the platform I'm thinking about no larger than 13 inches, 12, 13 inches to hold your tablet. Other than that, I guess it just get kind of awkward. But like I said, this is not fastened down. This is just the next concept of idea that I'm working on for a tablet mount. And as well, your sensor bar will go there. You still have your tablet. And that's going to be basically the setup for a tablet. The short block is designed for size and convenience. 
Next time I show you the short blocks, we will have a base on it so you can see it actually standing on its own. I did, however, want to go ahead and show you what I've been working on to get this video out. And one other thing I like to point out, the short block is designed for a dual mount cell phone tablet mount. Which will fit in there as such. It will not house or mount the two of these because unless maybe perhaps you find one with the base as, as short as that, you see this here base is a little longer, but it will not set up there. I would lengthen it, but I'm going to go ahead with what we have because I do want it to be convenient. So like I said, it's designed for the dual mount brace. All right, with that said, I thank you for watching. I hope this video will be helpful. And if you have any questions, please comment, reply, like, dislike, and we'll try to help you out the best we can with, with what we can. Once again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good life. SLS camera is not just for ghost hunting. As a matter of fact, the X360 is the SLS camera. That is structure light sensor camera. The update design, the X1, however, is a TOF camera, time of flight camera. They are depth scanning cameras, photography cameras, videos. Those are the two that connect, use the SLS and the TOF. Hopefully this video has been helpful to someone.